Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Brad's Up and in this video I'll be doing a quick demonstration for you guys on what Microsoft has decided to include in Windows 8, which would be the Metro UI. Now taking a quick look at it, you can already see that it looks a lot like Windows Phone 7, or well, at least the operating system. Uh, a lot of key features are taken from that, like the tile or the uh, yeah the tile application styles uh, that they have across the screen here. You can see uh, just basically yeah all the tile applications. Um, and I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration for you guys on like all the key features and stuff like that, and uh, maybe if we have time, uh, some quick application demonstrations such as some of the games that are included with this. Uh, now, why don't we get started here and start talking about um, what you can do with this? Uh, now, whenever you boot up into Windows 8, you will be booting up into this Metro UI. Uh, now, I, to my knowledge, there is no option to boot up into the desktop. It currently only boots up into this Metro UI. Uh, now, the Metro UI is only, well, it's mainly geared towards the tablet and the uh, small, uh, say, like netbook uh, PCs. Uh, mainly because uh, for the net or for the tablets at least this would be great for uh, like touch and stuff like that or also be great for like all-in-one PCs with the uh, touch screen stuff like that and uh, it's also be, also be good for like laptops or netbooks and stuff like that um, mainly because it's small screen and uh, you have all these big huge tiles and you can quickly access them uh, now why don't we get started here and show you some of the applications and uh, tile applications that comes with this Metro UI. Uh, now if you're interested in getting back into your desktop and uh, explore Windows 8 uh, normally, you can just head on over here to the left side. Uh, I have moved this application. It is uh, should be here on somewhere on the left side when you freshly install Windows 8, but it is the desktop tile. You just simply click this and it brings you back to the desktop. You have your wallpaper. Uh, you'll probably see some applications here on the on the on the wallpaper here you have your taskbar, your toolbar, whatever you want to call it and uh, yeah it's basically just the normal Windows experience that you've gotten used to and if you ever want to get back to the Metro UI you just simply tap on the Windows key just like that and it brings you back to the Metro UI just that simple and also has a pretty cool animation as well. Uh, now why don't we get, us, uh, get on over to some of the other uh, applications that comes with Metro UI and since I know that you all love looking at stocks let's start off with this. Uh, so some of the stock stocks that comes with this application are the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq and Microsoft's uh, little uh, stock or stock right here. Uh, if you ever want to add any stocks, you simply just right click on your mouse and you can add stocks, you can delete stocks, and you can pin stocks. And now what pin stocks does is you just basically uh, click it and it adds the stock to your uh, Metro UI. So just tapping on the Windows key again, uh, you go back and it should appear over here uh, once you've set it all up. So that's pretty much it. That's for the stocks application. Uh, well, let's take a look at the next little application that I'll be showing you guys, which is the Internet Explorer 10. Uh, now, this uh, version of Internet Explorer is mainly geared for like the tablet or the small uh, screen laptop or netbook. And you can see right here as I enter it into it uh, that it is quite different from what you've all gotten used to with previous versions of Internet Explorer. And now, as I said, there are two, two versions. Um, there is a desktop version which I'll be showing you uh, later on in another video, uh, but this one, at least, you can see that all the options from the top up here have now been moved to the bottom. You can now see like the back button, the address bar, refresh, uh, the pin. Now, pin is basically the same thing as uh, in the stocks application. You can pin a certain uh, URL to your um, Metro UI homepage. And, uh, you just have some other options here like find on page, use desktop view, and it basically just goes over here. And this this is the Internet Explorer 10 for your desktop, so it looks exactly the same as IE9. So come back here. Uh, so that's basically Internet Explorer. Uh, you also have your forward key, and uh, basically the, it's optimized for more screen real estate, which is what tablets and small laptops need. The more real estate, the better. So that's great. And uh, that's not going to get into it too much because it's just a simple browser, it's nothing too much. Uh, you also have other tabs over here if you want to open them up as well just by doing that. And you can already see uh, by clicking the right, uh, the right click on your, um, on your uh, mouse that brings up all these cool things and you can just simply add another tab and uh, just like that. 
So that's pretty much it for IE9 or IE10 rather for um, for uh, Metro UI. You can see I also have Google Chrome installed here, so it shows up right there. And you also have an RSS news feed reader, which is really awesome. I kind of do like it a lot. And you can see some of the stock RSS uh, feeds that Windows or Microsoft rather has uh, added to this application. And you can just add in your RSS feed up here at the top by entering in the URL and then pressing enter and it'll uh, automatically categorize it. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty much the RSS feed reader. Uh, moving on, uh, now this next one is currently unavailable. It is the Windows Store. It's kind of like the App Store if you have a uh, Mac, but it's uh, Windows or Microsoft's little take on it. So uh, it's currently not available because it is in a beta state later on when uh, it's officially released. It'll probably be um, released and uh, you can now download apps later on in the final re release. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Going back. And uh, you can see the Windows Explorer. It's pretty much just basic self-explanatory opens up the Windows Explorer. Over here, it's really cool. It's a Twitter application that Microsoft has developed. I've only used it for like five, 10 minutes and uh, I can already say that I'm probably gonna use this a lot. It's really cool and uh, just pretty sleek. You have your timeline, you have what's happening. You can post a tweet here. You can even add an image, which is really awesome. Uh, you can see all your following, so that's neat. And uh, their whole profile over here, so that's really cool. And that's pretty much it for that. Control panel, now this is really sick, guys. Uh, they've completely redesigned this, at least for the Metro UI thing. And uh, over here, you have your personalized. You can put like a wallpaper or stuff like that for your lock screen, your user tile, which is pretty much like your uh, local profile picture if you have multiple users. You have your users options over here, so you can create a password and all this other good stuff. Uh, you have wireless, uh, your notifications, your privacy, general search, share, send, ease of access, scroll on here, devices, home group, Windows update, and uh, more settings, which just brings you to the control panel uh, over here at the desktop area. Go back here. And that's pretty much it for the control panel. Uh, it's really sleek and uh, really awesome well, just sleek and awesome to use. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the Metro UI. And over here is the Socialite app. Uh, this is another app that uh, Microsoft has uh, developed and it's pretty much, as far as I've used it so far, it's uh, mainly geared towards Facebook and uh, I'm not gonna show you it because I have linked my Facebook to it and uh, I'm not gonna show you my friends and stuff like that. But it's pretty much a Facebook app for um, Windows Metro UI. It does look pretty sleek. I've only used it for like a few moments, um, but I can say that it's pretty cool and I'll probably use that a lot. Now let's move on to the Windows, or the, uh, not the Windows, the weather application for Metro UI. Open this up and it's pretty sleek. Uh, it's lagging a bit here, probably because I am screen recording. Uh, should clear. Up. There we go. Uh, but you can see this cool little animation in the background, and you can see all these, uh, all this information here. Uh, now I'm, I am in Canada, and I do use, or Canada does use Celsius to determine your uh, temperature. Uh, it's currently in Fahrenheit, which I cannot seem to change to Celsius. Uh, so that is something that I do wish Microsoft would uh, fix. As well, we also use kilometers an hour, not miles per hour, so that's kind of an issue. Uh, but overlooking that, it does really look slick, guys, because um, you have all your, like, uh, I guess you could say major changes happening in the weather. You can right-click, and you can have all these option options here. Uh, you can pin the city, which is kind of blotted out right now. I don't know what uh, what's wrong with that, but uh, that is that. You can remove the city. You can use the current location for wherever you're in uh, to add that city. So like current city, uh, you can add a city, you can do a summary view, which basically just does this. So if you, if you have other cities here, you can uh, have them all show up just like that. Uh, going back here, you can turn on and off hourly. So it's basically what it looks like a day to day type thing. You have your highs and lows, what's happening in the day, the chance of rain, all that good stuff. Uh, this is a really awesome application and um, I'm glad they added this because I can probably see myself using this a lot and uh, that's pretty much it for the weather application so that is pretty much it guys for this video uh, I'll be doing more coverage on Windows 8 and all the new cool features that is involved with it 
Uh, so definitely be staying tuned for that. You can subscribe up top if you would like. As well, comment down below any comments, questions, or suggestions that you may have. As well, give it a big old likes up. It does help me out quite a bit. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.